Hello, my name is Manuel Stoiber. I'm a research scientist at the German Aerospace Center and a PhD student at the Technical University of Munich. Today, I'm happy to introduce you to our work, Iterative Corresponding Geometry. Our approach fuses region and depth information for highly efficient 3D tracking of textualist objects. The work was created together with my colleague Martin Sundermeyer and our advisor Rudolf Trieb. The main motivation behind our approach is to perform accurate and fast 3D tracking for real-world applications. This means that we want to estimate both the rotation and translation of an object relative to the camera from consecutive RGBD images as well as a 3D model of our object. A key aspect of our work is usability. This means that we want to perform the tracking without requiring any high-end hardware, without requiring training or training data, and without requiring model texture. For our approach, we use a so-called sparse viewpoint model to represent the object geometry. A sparse viewpoint model is generated by rendering the object from views all around the object and for each view sampling both contour points and surface points. The big advantage of this representation is that it avoids the rendering step during tracking, which is highly important for efficiency. For tracking, we use two sources of information, region and depth. For the region modality, we use color histograms to differentiate between the object and the background. Based on the probability that a pixel belongs to the object or background, we calculate the probability of the contour location along so-called correspondence lines, which you can see here in yellow. In addition to this contour information, we also consider depth information. For the depth modality, we use an approach similar to ICP, where we first establish correspondence points on the depth image and then calculate the point-to-plane error. In summary, our approach looks something like this. So we have the sparse viewpoint model down here with both contour points and surface points. For the depth image, we establish correspondence points, which you can see here in red. And for each correspondence point, we then calculate the point-to-plane error for which we assume a normal distribution. In the image plane here of the color image, we calculate the probability of the contour location for each correspondence line. To estimate the six degree of freedom pose of our object, we simply try to find the location of our model that best fits the data from our images. By jointly maximizing all those probability distributions using Newton optimization with Dikonov regularization. With this relatively simple approach, we are able to achieve state-of-the-art results on the YCB video, OPT, JOY and ARBOT datasets. Especially on the OPT, JOY and ARBOT datasets, we achieve the currently highest score. Also, our approach is highly efficient, requiring only 1.3 milliseconds per frame on a single CPU core without requiring the GPU during tracking. Also, as mentioned before, we do not require model texture, but the geometry alone is good enough. Here are the results in more details on the YCB video dataset, where we compare mostly to deep learning based methods. As you can see here, also for the ADDS metric, we achieved the highest score, but also for the ADD metric, we perform very well. The only reason why we cannot achieve a better score for the ADD metric is that we only use the object's geometry. This means that, for example, for a rotationally symmetric object, it is not possible to correctly predict uh, the rotation. We achieve those results with a theoretical frame rate of almost 800 Hz, which is about one order of magnitude faster than the second best algorithm here. And again, we get this performance using only a single CPU core and no GPU. In conclusion, our research shows that classical approaches can still outperform deep learning based methods, definitely with respect to efficiency, but also with respect to uh, tracking quality, classical approaches can still be highly competitive. Also, our approach achieves state of the art results without requiring training, annotated data, model texture, or high end hardware. And also, why I was not able to go into more detail here, our approach can also be used for highly efficient post refinement. So, thank you very much for listening. And for more details, please check our paper and also our source code, which is publicly available.